All right, let's go into uh, let's go into this morning's trading. We've had a nice little buy setup on crude here a few minutes ago. Big setup on Nasdaq futures also. Let's go over yesterday on the setups we had, and I'm going to show you uh, today what we're looking at. This is my nine sim Renko. It's a really nice chart to trade off of for long term, uh, a longer term pullback move uh, moves. This gives us a leading indicator. This leading indicator. It gives us a leading heads up on a retracement trade. So our nine sim this uh, yesterday, and I'll go over today, is also what we're looking for, is that it will show you the pullback buys. I got three MAs on there. We don't use moving averages for trend direction. We use them for overall. I mean, we use them for trend direction. We don't use them for support and resistance. We use them for trend direction only. It's a trend filter. These MAs are trend filters. They're not for support and resistance. Okay? Make sure we got that clear. Moving averages are worthless by nature, but they're great for trend direction. So if we look on yesterday's move, and we a lot of you guys caught this move, once you're above all three MAs, you want to see separation. Now, I did this in my webinar. I went over this. In the last two videos I did, we've had a huge week last week, Monday through Friday, doing this. When you see there's candle separation, this big green candle and big red candle, that's the open versus close relationship on the bar. I'm not concerned about the high and low of the bar. That's irrelevant. That's the wicks. That's for amateur traders. We're looking at the open versus close. If I look at the open versus close, I got separation from my smaller MA because <clears throat> I have a trend filter built into my Rinko bar. Now, this will not work on minute charts. It won't work on volume charts or or share charts or anything like that. So you want to make sure you use this off my Renko. It has a trend filter built in. So once you see separation on the candle away from the smaller MA, and we're all trend up, you can see we're all trend up yesterday, you're going to look for a red candle pullback. Once you see that, and that has happened, you're going to look for a buy signal on my 5 sim Renko, the one next to it. We had one this morning also. So if I just put these two charts next to each other, and let's just take a look at these, you can literally just trade off these two charts even without market profile and find a lot of setups to make it simple for yourself. These two charts right here by themselves are tradable charts with market delta all by themselves. Market profile can give you confluence. So if I look at our setup today, I'll go over today's that we just had. So if I look at yesterday's, another setup there, but hold on. If I look at yesterday's setup, let's take a look at this. This is what we want to do. It's how you match it up. The best way to do this, I don't care what market you trade, okay? It's irrelevant. You can trade any futures. This works on any stock. It works on any currency, and it works on any Forex. We're, tra we're trying to trade trend pullbacks with overall trend direction of the market. I got two time frames that are the most important that you're going to trade the majority of your trades off of. I got the nine sim Renko with 30 days back. I've got my five sim Renko over here with 30 days back. I only have the symmetry dots on my five sim Renko. The symmetry dots will tell me the symmetry of the market if we're stair stepping up or if we're stair stepping down. So what we want to do then, guys and gals, is this. We want to use that nine sim and look for pauses in the market. Right now, yesterday, I'll go over today's trade. We just had you guys got, some of you guys probably got, well, it was a nice easy trade to the upside. Is it, look at the separation, the key is the separation of the candles from my smaller MNA, MA. You're above all three MAs. We're going to look for the first reversal candle in a trend. That's going to tell us to start watching for the five sim over here. At this point in time, this is where, what I'm talking This is this reversal right there. This is what it looks like. There's your reversal. So the 9 sim gave you a heads up on a longer time, a longer Renko. You had major separation from the open versus close in the candle. There's your reversal bar. Start watching for your 5 sim to pull you in off of symmetry with an arrow. My arrow caught the exact low. Symmetry caught it. There's symmetry dots. My blue symmetry dots gave you support on the pullback. At 20, the market exploded for over 140 ticks, $1,400 per one contract, risking only $130 per one contract, and that's it. 
So we got the move up. We had the move up here. Then we come to symmetry again. Check this out. We get above 70. Look what my 9 sim does. It pauses. We get a pause in the 9 sim, red reversal bar. I got major separation from my open versus close on the candle of the bar. What happens on my 5 sim Renko? We get the pullback. There's your pullback right on symmetry. There's your arrow. We get another stem up. Then what do we do again? We get above right around 33. We get another pullback. What happens on the, on the next pullback? Right there, hit symmetry. Market explodes. Next pullback. There it is. Hit symmetry. Market explodes. So you can see what we're trying to do here, guys and gals. We're trying to buy pullbacks based upon the 9 sim. Now, off the 9 sim and getting in off the 5 sim. Now, what we can do is this. How can we trade off the 3 sim, though? How can I trade off this smaller time frame over here? What you can do when symmetry is broken here, because this will have more arrows, the far right chart, when symmetry dots is broken against trend right there and it closes above it, I want to start looking for 9 sim trades through here. All the way through there, look for nine, uh, 3 sim trades, I'm sorry. This is where my time frame over here, the 3 sim constant trades. So what you can do is you can use this time frame, smaller time frame, when you're actually in a hard trend up or down and symmetry is breaking through. So if I'm cranking up like this yesterday, here it is, those are the arrows you can take here because, see, I broke through symmetry at 35, 11.35 right there. That's when I broke through symmetry right here. So I can take these arrows long. These are great arrows long. Worked out great. That was a 30, I mean a uh, 85 all the way to 25. So that's a $400 trade off the three sim. So you can catch the three sims in between breaking through symmetry and you catch the five sim trades, retest the symmetry. You can trade both sides of the symmetry dots. One for breakouts and hard trends using the three, one for pullbacks on the five. So these three charts, I can trade any market without even looking at market profile. I can trade any market, any stock, any future, any currency, any Forex by combining these three charts. I let my nine sims set up the trade. I, it gives me a huge leading pullback. This is a leading indicator. These bars are larger Renko's. It gave you a leading indicator for pullbacks. And then you look for a five sim Renko long off of symmetry, or if we break through symmetry, try to get a three long right there. Go to today. Today's action. Look what we got on the last setup. Not hard to see this. Very easy to see. So what we have is we have what? We had a lot of hard action yesterday, right? Look how vertical it went yesterday. Big vertical move. Huge, massive moves on a lot of markets. Now today, we're not really moving that hard, but it gave you a setup. How? Look at my look at the separation right here. Look at the separation I'm getting from the open versus close. This is what separates novice from amateur traders. I mean, uh, am, amateur novice traders from professional traders. It's all the open versus close relationship. We're not worried about the wicks, the highs and lows of the candle. We're worried about the open versus close, the body of the candle, the big red thick body. That the, that's an open versus close. That's order flow. Look how we got separation. Look how separating away from my small MA. Separation, separation, big separation. You pretty much know when you're going to get a retracement, I'm, I, and I teach you members this, look at the separation you get from the last candle. Look at that separation. What's that tell you? Look at that separation versus all these. Look. See, it's deeper, isn't it? Look at that. More shallow there, more shallow. You know when it's coming. That's telling you right now that you're looking for the 9 sim. Close red candle. Telling you to what? All right. Let's steer in a 5 sim ranker. We're looking for a pullback buy. What do we get? We get a pullback buy. Look how it holds my symmetry dots. You don't want the open versus close closing below the symmetry dots. You want them to hold the symmetry dots. 
I don't care if they break intra bar by the wicks. That's for novice amateur traders. The wicks, the highs and lows are for amateur traders. We're talking about trading the markets professionally. We want to look at it versus open versus close. There's your, right there is your spinning top, open versus close above the candle. There's your arrow. Right to the second set of symmetry is a great trade this morning. Not a hot market this morning by any means, but a very tradable market nonetheless. So just trading these three time frames, even with my market profile, nine sim sets it up, three, uh, the five sim Rinko with the symmetry dots, that's the only time frame I have it on, gives you your pullback buys, your, your three sim, which we don't have any momentum in the market this morning yet, the three sim has out how many arrows this morning for us to pop in the trade. These three combos is a total trading system by itself, all by themselves. That's without looking at market profile, period. Now what you can do is below here is use market delta. You can use market delta below to pop in your buys for confirmation when the arrow fires. So when the arrow fires here, okay, it fires on symmetry at 04, do we have positive market delta? Yes, we do. There's your positive market delta. What's that tell you? That's an entry. 119, that's a nice order and balance. That's your, that's your uh, open the position at the next open of the bar, the close of this green bar when this arrow fires. Now market delta is giving us even a more heads up because the market delta, if you know anything about market delta, it's a relationship between the bid and the ask. It's showing us an order and balance at a key symmetry level at a key arrow, we know the arrows only fire with overall retracement sweet spot levels. Now you got yourself a complete trading system. If you want to add market profile in there for confluence, I give you market profile to add. Because we want to trade market profile in flat markets and stay away from arrows. So if I log in and these arrows, I mean these moving averages are going sideways or horizontal, then the heck with the arrows. We don't want to trade these arrows then. Then we want to just sell in between market profiles, sell the high by the low of HV and LVA. That's all the market does, guys. It's either trending or it's chopping. It can only do two things. Either we go vertical or we go sideways. And typically, you go three vertical during the week and you go two sideways. And that's happened for years upon years upon years in the market on pretty much any given market. So you use the arrow-based system with overall trend direction pullbacks. Use market profile in flat range markets until the market breaks outside of profile, then you get back into trend. And don't make it any harder than that. So crude today is two for two, here and here. And guess what? Did both the nine sim set it up? Did it set it up again today? It sure did, didn't it? Look at that pullback. There's your pullback on the nine sim. Red reversal bar, red reversal bar comes down to symmetry, comes down to symmetry. It just doesn't get better than that, guys. I'm showing you the exact bar to get into. I'm not talking about an area or somewhere in between 20 ticks or 15 ticks or 10 ticks. I'm showing you the exact bar should reverse. It should come down to symmetry. We should get the arrow, positive market delta if we're buying, vice versa if you're selling. And you're going to see days like yesterday. These are the days where you just, like Earl emailed me, he made 150 ticks yesterday, 150 ticks. Today's up already 70, 70 ticks. It's because this works on all markets. You buy off symmetry. Look, we're two for two on the, on the, on the, on through today. NASDAQ's on fire. If I look at the NASDAQ, if I pull the NASDAQ over, you do the same concept. I had some big trades on the NASDAQ already this morning. Look at my nine sim on the NASDAQ. It don't matter what market you look at. It's the same exact setup. If we look at the NASDAQ, where do I want to try to buy, find trades on the NASDAQ this morning? Right there. That's a pause in the market on my nine sim. Sure enough, that caught the low in the NASDAQ just after 8 o'clock this morning. Blast off. Look for pause in the market. And that's, it doesn't matter on downtrends. and downtrends, it's just the opposite. If I'm downtrending, look, if I'm downtrending, here's a NASDAQ downtrending. Here's how you catch downtrending markets early this morning. If I'm downtrending, here's the pause in the market of the 9 sim. Catch that high. Boom. 
Catch that high. There's a pause in the market. There you go. Catch that high. All right? Another big one. Another big one. Another big one. All right? Another big one down here. Catch, catch those moves. All right? Even if you get caught, on that, your stop still would have kept you in. So you can do that, guys and gals, by trading off the nine cent by pausing the market. 